high winds, sea spray and challenging light, everything could go wrong. But sometimes the most challenging circumstances produce the best results. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, Ruby and I have just got up this morning, we've moved the van up onto a little park up by the southwest coastal path which gives us a fantastic view of these really stormy seas which are coming in. Um, and that's our next objective really, is to get down um, on the coastal path, do a little bit of photography along there, uh, maybe pop down to a beach, we'll see how we feel and see how the weather is. We're on the wrong side of the coast for a sunrise, so I don't think we're going to see much um, in terms of lighting. And to be honest, the light's not that great anyway, looking around. So um, I'm going to not wait around any longer. I'm going to get myself sorted, get some welly boots on, get out there and see what we can find. So come on, I'll see you out on the cliffs. Hope you can uh, hear me above the wind noise. I'm kind of standing in close to the camera, so hopefully it's um, coming up over the top of the noise. But basically, um, I've set up my first composition, but it is so windy, I didn't film setting it up and doing all that nice B-roll stuff. But basically, I'm, I'm in a high elevated position looking down across the, uh, down across the bay and uh, we've got all these waves coming in and rolling in and breaking so i've got some of the coastline in that and the waves breaking and everything in the foreground but probably over half of the picture is, is in fact the sea and what i've done is i've just fitted a um, polarizer filter but let me let me put up some video so you can see what i what i mean so with the polarizing filter on it's actually increasing the contrast a lot and bringing out the detail in the waves, which I wanted to do. I still haven't decided on my final shutter speed yet, but if you just look at the way this video changes when I move the polarizing filter, you'll see how it's bringing that nice definition into the sea. And that's gonna make this image much better for it. Before it was a bit washy and a bit indistinct and I wasn't very happy with it. So that's the first thing that I've done. So shutter speed is very much a personal choice really in how much blur you want in the image and what it is that you like. And the thing of course as well is that when you actually get back to the um, editing suite and you start looking at your images, you might decide on something completely different when you see it on the big screen. But as we are at the moment to give you some sort of idea of what I'm shooting at, I'm shooting at ISO 100, F8 and um, about a sixth of a second and that seems to be giving me um, the right balance between showing the power of the sea and also capturing some of the movement. So I'm going to take a few more images at that setting and then we're going to move off and uh, look at finding some more compositions. I'm going to go down closer to the beach, there has to be some stuff down there to shoot that's really good. It's not often that it works out this way but I ended up using my favourite image from the field for my finished photograph. I always like some movement in the water. It's a personal choice, but for me, pin sharp water lacks energy and emotion. With stormy conditions, retaining too much motion can also kill the image. The power of the sea is lost, and with that, the story of the photograph. Getting this balance right is key to the success of the image. To say that it's windy is a bit of an understatement to be perfectly honest, but it's this challenging weather conditions which are making the best conditions for me in terms of photography. I'm still convinced when I get back home you're not going to be hearing a thing that I'm saying. I might put the lav mic on in a minute. But um, I found these grasses, well sand dunes I guess. Um, which are making some really interesting foreground because although it's really stormy and it's a fantastic location to be, photographically it's not that easy to, 
to find a great composition because the water is so very, very um, stormy. It's almost completely white, which makes it a little bit interesting. But anyway, what I have got here is these grasses which are moving. So I kind of think we've got a composition here where we're going to have the grasses blowing about and moving in the foreground. The same with the waves. And um, there's a hotel on the cliff top in the distance. So I'm thinking maybe that's going to make my focal point to draw your eye into. We just have to see how it looks when it comes out. So I'm going to get this set up um, and then I'll let you know exactly what it is we've actually managed to put together and find. Like I said, sorry about the wind noise. Well, what can I say? This is a fantastic spot. The trouble is the wind's blowing straight at me and it's a little bit difficult to vlog and uh, show you what's going on. I'm having to wipe the lenses and the camera every few seconds or every few exposures just to keep it all clean. It's gonna have to be a big cleanup operation when I get home to just wipe the camera over and get all this salt spray off because that's not gonna do any good at all in the long run. But the photography is definitely worth it. Um, I've, like I said, I've put a composition together using these grasses and I'll shoot a little bit of um, video of that as well so you can see through the viewfinder. But basically, what I've managed to do is to find a, a pathway that, that leads down through and I've set the composition up in such a way that um, those, those grasses in the foreground are all swaying around and that seems to be working really well. The hotel has worked out well. I have got the um, hotel up there, so that's looking quite good on the on the horizon. And I've also taken pictures with a number of different filters on, both six stop, three stop, um, the polarizer and the ND. And I've swapped these in or out as required to sort of get hold of a different composition, sorry, different lighting conditions and take care of it. And that seems to have worked relatively well. Um, like I say, the big, the big issue, of course, is just actually trying to get everything right whilst I'm holding on to the camera, trying to keep everything steady and also deal with the weather conditions. So I'm going to put this image up for you now and uh, you can take a good look and see what you think of it and let me know. I am delighted with this photograph. It captures the moment for me exactly how I imagined it. The crashing waves, grasses blowing in the wind, warm morning light painting the scene. A veil of sea spray reduces the contrast, adding to the painterly feel. Rarely does an idea conceived in a shoot transform so well into a finished image. There's a, another location here that I've wanted to come back to and photograph for some time. And there's a church which is basically right down on the beach. It's not exactly on the beach, it is a little, little back from it, but it's as near to the um, beach as you could possibly get. So I'm going to attempt to get some photographs of it and it's always quite difficult to get a composition because where it's situated, it's right against a, a, a hillside, a cliffside, and uh, th there's a lot of trees and everything around it. I've never found a good composition. But sticking with the idea of using the um, grasses and everything which are blowing and moving about in the wind, I'm kind of hoping that where I am now, I'll be able to set something up and use those grasses just as I have um, with the shots looking towards the beach as well. So it's a bit of a theme of wind and motion to today's photography. And I, get that, and I guess that kind of fits in with really with the way in which I, I tend to take my images. I do tend to very much work with the elements and everything that's around me and remain adaptable. So today is all about that wind and that blustery weather conditions and it's making for some challenging but very interesting um, photography opportunities. 
So I'm going to get set up once again. Once again, I'm going to have to apologise because I'm not going to be able to vlog it a lot and hold on to all the camera gear as it blows about. But we'll see what we can get done. Currently waiting for the light to break out a little bit. In fact, it's just about to happen, I think. I can see a patch of sky coming up, which is going to sort of lift it. And the reason I want to do that is at the moment, there's literally no contrast in this scene whatsoever. Um, I'm reasonably pleased with the composition and I've gone for a shutter speed of somewhere between sort of like 10 and four seconds to get those grasses swaying and moving about in the foreground. But I've just need more lighting on it. And uh, as the light starts to lift, it's just starting to, uh, it's got back behind clouds again. I'm going to have to work fairly quickly. When you look at the histogram on the back of the camera, the actual tonal range is very, very narrow. And uh, it's going to need a bit of light on this subject to lift it and make the best of the scene. So as soon as that happens, we'll be shooting. Okay, so at long last, I think I've managed to get the light that I was looking for and I've got a couple of images in the bag. So let's tell you about what I'm seeing in front of me right now. So the basic um, setup that I've got is like I say, I've got these grasses down on the left hand side of the frame and the tree up on the top right. And hopefully they're balancing each other, which gives us enough visual weight to frame the church inside. What I'm also doing is I'm shooting at, at so between sort of like six and 10 seconds, which is allowing all these grasses and trees to move about, which is working out really, really well because what I don't want is to just have a static foreground. Like I said, everything was going to be about the movement today. And with the um, situation that I've got here right at the moment, that's certainly working. So I'm going to take this one last picture and uh, well, I've already taken it, to be honest, but I'll, I'll hang around and see if I can take any more. Then I'll put the image up on the screen for you. I approached this subject with a little apprehension. I wasn't sure it would even make the video, but I had hopes for the composition. Framing the church amongst the cliffs and swaying trees and grass works well. I still love monochrome photography, playing with tonal ranges that could not be achieved in reality. Photography is all about light, and as the clouds parted, the golden grasses and autumnal leaves glowed. So that breakfast roll was really good. Um, all I need to do now is pack up, but before I do that, I just want to thank everybody for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed the photography. Um, it was the third video that I've done on this van tour. It's been only been an overnight. I did two shoots yesterday, one this morning. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and there's gonna be more to come. So if you've enjoyed this content, then please log into the channel again. Maybe you wanna subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get those important updates and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.